Rajat Gupta faces charges of conspiracy and securities fraud in the government's crackdown on insider trading. He is one of the highest profile defendants in this far-reaching investigation, which has yielded 59 convictions. Gupta, a former director of Goldman Sachs and Procter & Gamble, pled not guilty. At the heart of the case against Rajat Gupta is um, is his re- relationship with Raj Rajaratnam and whether he provided information to Raj about uh, Warren Buffett's investment in Goldman during the height of the financial crisis, as well as information about Goldman's earnings. Unlike in previous trials, federal prosecutors do not have actual recordings of Gupta passing information. But they have built a case using a combination of phone records trading records and wiretaps, which they believe will tie Raj Rajaratnam's trades to Gupta's actions. They have phone records that show Raja Gupta made phone calls to Raj Rajaratnam. They have other calls where Rajaratnam's talking to his traders, saying that he got information from someone at Goldman. I got a call at 358, right? Yeah something good might happen to Goldman. Then they have trading records that show after those phone calls, in some cases very soon after those phone calls, the Galleon, under the direction of Rajaratnam, actually made trades. Raj and Rajat, they were good buddies. They, you know, they, they shared a lot of business dealings. They, you know, there were recordings of them that were offered during the trial of Raj Rajaratnam where they would um, discuss their wives. And, uh, you know, so there was a little bit of blending of personal with the business. Gupta was uh, charming, dignified, he's very refined. Um, he's kind of a, not only at the, at the pinnacle of the U.S. business community, but also a pioneer for people from India. He went to Harvard Business School. He worked with Bill Gates. He worked with Bill Clinton. Mm-hmm. Not only that, had the ear of really the most powerful uh, corporate executives in the country. Raj had money. Gupta had power. Um, and I think the two of them, you know, that, that was why it was such a, such a great marriage and such an you know, interesting relationship because the two of them brought, you know, very different things to the table. So why would one of America's most respected businessmen risk everything? It was on some wiretaps where uh, he and another friend of Gupta's were talking about Gupta and how he wanted to really get into private equity and just he was in the the millionaires club but he really wanted to be in the hundreds of millionaires club or the billionaires club. Defence lawyers argue that Gupta was not the type of man that would engage in insider trading. They say that Gupta blamed Raj Raj Ratnam for withdrawing millions of dollars from their joint investment fund, Voyager Capital Partners, that contributed to Gupta's own $10 million loss. They also argue that the leaks could have come from any one of a number of sources within Goldman Sachs. We know of at least three other Goldman Sachs insiders, current former employees of Goldman Sachs, who are being investigated for passing on inside information to Raja Ratnam. And the defense is expected. In fact, they've, they've basically said in hearings that they're going to try to use that as in, in their defense. But they're going to try to say Rajat had no motive to give Raj the information about the Buffett investment because they were on the outs at that point. He never would have done him a favor like that because they were already, you know, um, having some real problems in their relationship. They want to present this flip side, which is that, you know, he was involved with all these charitable organizations. He was a humanitarian. He was a philanthropist and devoted, like, you know, so much of his time to these good causes. So what does this all mean for Wall Street, whose reputation has taken a considerable bashing since 2008? The government is on a clean-up mission and employing the same techniques it used to bring down the mafia. It's sending a message that white-collar criminals should beware. No matter how rich or how powerful, if they break the law, they can go to jail. The insider trading focus by the government has really sent a very strong message to Wall Street. The whole point is to deter other criminal activity. And um, if it's a little little guy that nobody's ever heard of, the press is probably not going to pay as much attention. But when it's Rajat Gupta, former Goldman director, former head of McKinsey, you better believe we're all going to be watching very carefully. Reporting for the Wall Street Journal in New York, this is Niall McKay.